Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is all about Teslas, how you should use them defensively at Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. Um, I'm going to be showing a little, short little visual here. I'll you know draw, I'll show some stuff uh, on this segment of the base to demonstrate my points. I'm going to be talking about. Um, how you should use a Tesla farm. I am advocating for the Tesla farm, and I'll be uh, explaining through the the method of talking about what the popular attacks you're defending against and how Tesla farms can uh, make those attacks weaker against your base. So that's basically what I'm going to be talking about. I'll go through Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 separately, but first I just want to talk about... Um, Assuming you are using a Tesla farm, some of the basic things you want to do uh, as far as where to place it and how to place it. Um, I'll talk more about the rationale as to why you should use a Tesla farm when I get specific for each town hall level. But overall, just real quick, um, for the Tesla farm, as it was kind of shown here, what you want to do is, first of all, you need it protected. Um, if a wizard can target it right from being dropped, that's not a good Tesla farm. Um, because when people know where it is, it's going to make it easier for them to just kind of come at it directly, take it out. You want some cushion uh, next to it. This is also good so that troops get stuck on these buildings at any part of the attack while the Teslas are doing their damage. You don't want them too exposed. They don't have many hit points. Uh, so keep these guys protected. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to have all these um, bumps in the outside of your base where you have these gaps. If we move these Teslas, uh, throw them over here for a second. You don't want to have these uh, little spaces bases on the outside of your base where the trash buildings aren't pressed up against. Um, that can be too conspicuous and give away where your Tesla farm is. So um, it's needed. I mean, you have to put your Tesla somewhere and on the outside of the base is often preferable along with the first layer, which these two Teslas are. But if you do go that route, which I think you should, you want to have other trash buildings around other places also be in the same uh, situation. So they don't know exactly where the Tesla farm is. They might think it's just how you place your trash buildings for whatever reason so um there's no walls biff like over here for example if the walls continued um on in this direction like this you would have uh trash buildings maybe like right here and like right here and then more like that and then like that so other places for a tesla farm basically don't make it too obvious by having all your trash buildings pressed up in one spot and have a little gap there that makes it too obvious for the first attacker so keep that in mind also there's a bit of an element to luck as far as them not attacking towards your tesla farm typically for the attacks i'm going to talk about in a second you don't want the kill squad going directly at the farm so you want to you know use the base and friendly challenge see which uh, direction people like to attack from and put the Tesla farm on a different side. Uh, that's very important because oftentimes it can just get mowed right down by the kill squad when it's at its most powerful at the beginning of the attack. So that's not a good situation for the defender. Those are a few things just general for the Tesla farm. Let's get specific now. We're going to talk Town Hall 9 first. This is my Town Hall 10 based, but we can do some imagining as I do some visuals for it. Um, Right off the bat, I just want to say the two attack strategies you see are air and then typically a golem based uh, hobo attack. Those are the two most popular um, air attacks can be anything from uh, well, we're talking mainly lava hound based attacks. You do see a bit of dragons or baby dragons, but the ba main thing we see is the laloon um, in some form and that's what we're going to be addressing. So for air attacks, you want to have your Teslas away from the ADs. So putting these back for a second, the air defenses should not be uh, in range of the Teslas. So if I can find my air defense right here, um, if it was for some reason right here, that wouldn't be the best spot. Three out of the four Teslas are going to um, be locking onto a Lava Hound that sits right there. You don't want that Lava Hound to tank for the Teslas. Instead, if the air defense is, you know, right here, now the Teslas probably can't quite reach it. Maybe they can. You might want to move this a little farther. And, it, you know, sometimes it's going to be hard, especially for a Town Hall 9 base, which is a little bit smaller than, smaller than a Town Hall 10 base to do this. Um, but you want to have the majority of the Teslas, if you can help it, be um, out of range or have the air defense be out of range for them. So they'll, they'll target balloons instead of lava hounds. And the balloons have a bit of hit points, but not that much once the Teslas start going on them. Um, it can also help to have some red air traps. So, um... I don't know where mine are, but put some of those red air bombs around these Teslas to help do some damage. But here's a very important thing to keep in mind. Do not 
put them near your queen, obviously, that's going to make someone, unless you're doing a queen trap, unless that's a topic for a separate video, unless you're trying to actually kill um, the kill squad that goes for the queen, uh, you know, you can try that, but don't put it near your queen in the sense that a kill squad can come in and get those Teslas for uh, for free almost, assuming they, the kill squad still gets the queen. You want the Teslas typically targeting the balloons, so keep it away from your queen in most circumstances unless you're doing something intentional. But even more important than that, do not put them near wizard towers or archer towers typically, especially wizard towers, because oftentimes what we see is people will drop down the king or the queen um, if they're doing a less invasive attack and try to get a little bit of value with their heroes if they're using skelly traps or something on the queen. So you don't want the Teslas to be included in that value. For example, if this is, let's say, a wizard tower, um, and let's say that something else is a wizard tower right here, someone might drop their queen down right up top here by that um, gold mine to take out those wizard towers, and the Teslas are not good against queens because the queens have so much range. The Teslas um, typically don't target the queen until the queen targets targets them. Um, they have more range, obviously, than the queen does, but they're not as uh, efficient against the queen, so she might take two or three of these out, um, especially if there's a little bit of tanking for her, along with these wizard towers. That's extra value. You don't want them getting accidentally on the first attack, especially, so keep these wizard towers away, um, and also, just by having them near, like, cannons and stuff, the attacker isn't planning on needing a lot of air. Um, they might not use a, a haste or, or something because they don't think they need the balloons to do as much in that section of the base. If you have, you know, all your eggs in one basket, all your wizard towers, all your archer towers, um, the attacker's already planning for a fight in that area. They know it's going to be tough already. The Teslas will add something, sure, but you don't want to put everything on one side of the base. It can, it can be dangerous and people can find creative ways to take that out and let their balloons uh, do damage to the to the less uh, covered sides of the base, which it'll be extremely uneven if all your stuff's on one side. So keep the Teslas, generally speaking, at Town Hall 9 away from the Archer Towers, the Wizard Towers. Not that big of a deal, but don't clump them up too much. If you can help it, use more cannons, more mortars in that area of your base defensive-wise. Um, okay, I think that covers it for air attacks at Town Hall 9. Now for ground attacks at Town Hall 9, uh, one thing that's effective is using spring traps. Um, now, this can be dangerous if a kill squad comes in this direction if you get unlucky like that because the spring traps are very ineffective against golems and stuff and it'll just add to the value the kill squad gets. But if you can sprinkle in some spring traps, this base isn't, isn't set up the best. Um, but sometimes you'll have multiple Teslas outside the base, like right kind of near each other, like for example, uh, right like that maybe. Put, put these uh, between the Teslas because oftentimes people will drop kind of a panic heal and that can slow the Teslas down a little bit but if you have the spring traps the heal can't do anything against that um, it'll definitely help with your attack so spring traps are a good idea beyond that I'd say keep your Teslas away from point defense. Similar to the last point I made with air, uh, the point defense is the main threat for hogs, just as archer towers and wizard towers are the main threats for balloons. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, put these uh, Teslas near wizard towers or mortars um, if you're expecting a ground attack. And by doing that, you're going to make the attacker you know, not use as many hogs in that area. If they're already expecting a lot of point defense, they'll have that heal down anyway. And you might get lucky, you might have enough, you know, damage to overcome that heal. But oftentimes there's going to be a big group of hogs coming through and it won't be as effective. So I'd say unless you, you're going to do an intentional kill zone where you have just a ton of point defense, uh, keep those testers kind of on their own away from point defense in terms of defending against ground troops. So that being said for Town Hall 9, uh, as always, questions in the comments. We're going to move on to Town Hall 10. And uh, it's a similar game, to be honest. Like I said uh, for um, at the beginning of the video, it is a similar game defensive-wise when you're using a Tesla farm. Talking about air first, and keep in mind we're focusing on dip attacks to a to a large extent. You guys probably saw the last video. Go back and rewatch that if you haven't. That deals with the other strategy we'll get to in a moment. But the main thing is air attacks at Town Hall. Um, or not air, dip attacks, sorry, at Town Hall 10. That's what you're mainly defending against. We're not seeing many Town Hall 10 v 10 three stars. So if that becomes more common, the defenses will adjust accordingly. But right now, um, that uh, Town Hall 11 dip, La Lune, can be very deadly. So a Tesla farm is also very good for taking out balloons, just as it is at Town Hall 9. Very similar properties. Keep them away from the air defenses like we talked about. Um, away from your queen because... 
typically at Town Hall 10, they're going to get that queen in one way or another. Uh, you can't use skeleton traps as well. So they're going to have to take that queen out for the air attack. Keep your Teslas away unless it's intentional to try to add damage to the area and keep your queen alive through the attack. But oftentimes they'll just get taken out along with the rest of the, the stuff in the area, along with the queen. So generally speaking, keep them away from the queen. It's a little bit uh, more acceptable to have them near Archer Towers and Wizard Towers because we're not seeing people um, have the luxury of biting off chunks of the base with their heroes. At Town Hall 10, everything's very focused. Um, there's not as much variety, and they're going to be coming with one big comprehensive kill squad usually, so we're not going to see people dropping their queen on her own to get some value before she dies. Uh, pretty much everything's going in as one kill squad, typically directed to taking out your defensive queen, along with an Inferno Tower, air defenses. So if you keep the Teslas away from the action, you shouldn't have to worry about them being taken out along with Archer Towers and more trivial defenses like that. Uh, keep them away from Infernos though. A kill squad will get them pretty easily or a freeze spell. You don't want them to get a huge value for their freeze. So have them more towards the outside of the base away from the uh, that Inferno Tower. That'll be helpful for you. Keep that in mind. Um, I think that covers it for the air attacks. Other strategy, which uh, this is where you should go back and watch the last video if you haven't already, that is the, uh, I think I called it the Wee Bow, where you're using, or the Bow Wee, I don't know which order it goes, but it's the Witch Bowler attack, and uh, that's just basically a mass kind of spamish attack. I don't like that word as much because um, it has kind of a negative association with it, connotation, uh, but... It, it's that attack that kind of just you send in all your witches, all your bowlers on one side of the base. Um, you want to try to keep the Teslas away from that initial side because they'll just get steamrolled along with everything else. Once there's a, a group of eight witches, you know, 12 bowlers coming at them, they won't stand a chance. But if you get them on the opposite side of the base, like you saw in the one defense from the last video where the guy had the Tesla farm on the other side of his base, what will happen is the, let's say, the main group of uh, troops comes through at the bottom here. They make their way up and as they thin out, they run into this Tesla farm which just eats them up one by one. Um, you one thing to keep in mind to keep the uh, kill squad from getting to your Tesla farm while they're too powerful. Have a lot of small compartments next to the Tesla farm to kind of uh, keep them separated from the inside of the base. That way, if you do it like that and have these small compartments, the troops that come into the middle of the base. Uh, they'll kind of fan out to each side because naturally troops avoid walls. They'll kind of go off to the right or off to the left. So the main force won't encounter the Tesla farm. Instead, the Tesla farm will kind of pick off stragglers and kind of wait till the troops are at their weakest towards the end of the attack to take them out, which is what your best bet is. So that's important as far as the walls go and keeping that Tesla farm kind of isolated from the middle of the base, keeping that, um, that buffer in the way. Um, splash damage, you want to have, you know, a wizard tower, a mortar, something to kill skeletons or something, or even a group of bowlers, because oftentimes there'll be, you know, large groups, uh, left over, and you want something to help the Teslas. The Teslas are very good for point defense and picking off troops one by one, but you want something to add the level of splash damage, especially for those skeletons the witches can spawn. Um, so Teslas, or, I mean, mortars and wizard towers are good, um, to put next to them. Um, I think that covers it pretty much. You want to have them on kind of a round side of your base. So if you look at this base, um, on this side, it's kind of in a, a round. It's not like a straight um, side of the base. That makes it less likely for people to come at that side of the base when they enter. Because keep in mind, they have to funnel everything into the middle. It's easier for a flat side, like if this was one side of the base just like that, it's much easier to funnel your bowlers, your witches in if the side is flat. If it's um, not too jutted out, that can make it easy. But if it's just round enough to kind of add some uncertainty, people are going to be uncomfortable attacking from that side. And typically, that's the side you can put your test the farm at to avoid that initial encounter with the kill squad. Um, so hope all that makes sense. Uh, comments or questions in the comment section if you have them. Try to answer other people's questions as well as you, if you have that knowledge. Uh, I do appreciate that. So thank you guys for watching. Long video. Tried to be as comprehensive as possible. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.